Today's tutorial, we're gonna cover how to track performance data in Greenkeeper. That includes things like green speed, clipping volume, turf grass quality, firmness, any data metric that you're collecting at your course to make decisions, we can add to Greenkeeper, display on our homepage, and then we're gonna use those data to help Greenkeeper learn how management, things like mowing, double mowing, rolling, irrigation, are impacting the performance and the playability of your turf. The ultimate goal then is to be able to give feedback so that if you need to hit performance metrics, Greenkeeper can help to suggest what management is going to uh, best accomplish that during different times of the year. So we can do this right from the home page. Uh, go down, I can see this is uh, information about my golf course. Uh, and my performance tracker right now says no data entered today. So it's really quick to um, enter data. First, just look at the tile. Um, you can see it's blank for today, the 22nd of April. Um, I can go back in time. So if I want to see what's happening on past days, uh, easy to do that. Uh, push go to today to go back to today. Uh, and then I can also set um, my bounds too. So like right now, you see clipping volume yesterday was a uh, 2.27, um, a little high, partly because we skipped a mowing um, the day before. So it's really two days growth. Um, and then we have our a seven day average here is uh, 1.2, which is right where I want it to be. Um, so it's in green. So you can change these bounds by looking at all the different metrics um, that you might want to track at your course and then putting in what's the minimum you call acceptable and then maybe what's the maximum that you would call acceptable. So entering data, real simple. Push the little plus sign and it's going to bring you to the, this, this what's called modal will pop up and we can do two different things. One, we can continue past entries. So um, we can look at all the past entries that I um, had uh, entered data for and then it gives information. So this is from Green's data um, in the morning after our first mow on the 21st versus after the second mow versus after the roll. Um, and so if you are collecting data frequently, like say you want to see how your turf is responding to mowing and double rolling or, or rolling, um, or even measure things that later in the afternoon, putting these information pieces into Greenkeeper and telling it what you did helps Greenkeeper learn. So if I look at what I did after uh, my first mow yesterday, um, we're going to first um, just go straight to the data. We can have our green speeds. So... Uh, these are the, the three holes that I measure, uh, and I'll show you how we do that later. Uh, um, I have my green speed, my clipping volume, um, 2.5 quarts of raw clippings from my center uh, clipping bucket on my triplex mower, and then it does the math to convert that to quarts per thousand square feet or 100 or liters per 100 square meters. I uh, entered in my, my soil moisture from two of the greens, and I didn't measure soil moisture or firmness that day. Um, if I go to then my second entry, um, I can see all we did is just maybe we double mode number nine um, and I can put in what the, uh, the quartz, how much grass I got in my second mowing. So that would be one. And maybe we did measure the green speed and we found out that the greens were rolling 10, three, five after that. So we'll push finish. Uh, and so now if I go back to that day, um, if you can look, you can see the, gr the growth rate after my first mow, the growth rate after my second mow. Soil moisture, we just measured once, so it's just telling us the value after the first mow. Or, um, and then green speed, excuse me. I can see the green speed after my first mow, after my second mow, and after the roll. So you can really quickly visualize all those pieces of information. So let's say you're trying to make enter data for the first time uh, today. How would you actually go about doing it? So we're going to push. Let's go back to today just so we can see nothing is there. We're going to push the plus sign button. And the first thing you need to do to add data for the first time is select a profile. So what's a profile? Profiles are just things that you would be um, measuring with um, similar routine frequency. So like your greens data, or maybe you have someone that goes out and is gonna measure moisture across all of your greens. 
or you're gonna have someone that's focusing on doing a bobble test on just a certain green. Whatever you want to do, you can make it into a profile so that every day it just remembers you're gonna measure green speed from these greens in this order. So, um, so we can select a profile um, and then um, go to add data, or in this case, let's add a new profile. So we're gonna push this green add new profile button, name it, so we'll just call this uh, greens test profile. Where is it, um, what area management areas are for? It's for our greens. And what are we gonna measure? Let's say we're gonna measure green speed and doing that in feet and inches. Do clipping volume, we'll do that in, uh, let's do this one in liters just to change it up. Um, soil moisture. And so you can start there and start building um, what you're gonna routine, routinely measure and then which holes. So maybe the first hole you're gonna do every day in the morning is not the eighth hole. Uh, and then you put in the square footage. The square footage is used for the clipping volume measurements. Um, I like to use a triplex mower to mow and I have a clipping volume from just my center bucket. So I take all of my square footage of my green and divide it by three. If you wanna use all three buckets, then enter the, the same value. If you're a walk mower and you can obviously mow with just the one bucket, then enter the, the full size of that area. So we'll do the eighth hole, and then maybe say we'll do the fourth hole. Okay, and we'll verify our square footages look good. Um, and go from there. So we'll push save. Okay, so now we've made that profile. You'll see it's in the list. Here's that greens test data. Um, I can select the date, and there's an AM, PM, or a PM measurement. So we'll say it's an AM measurement. So now that we've selected which profile we're gonna use, we can do two things. We can add management data, which is what we highly encourage, or we can skip management data. Um, again, it's always best to add a little bit of management data to give some perspective to Greenkeeper about what happened before the measurement so that it can display it properly and it can help analyze it um, with some of the machine learning technologies we're adding to the backside um, of Greenkeeper. So we're gonna push add management data. And here we can put in things like Maybe we got 0.2 inches of rain last night. We're mowing at 0 0.105 inches. And we took this measurement right after we mowed. We can also add some notes here if we would like. Now we push next and we can start putting information in. So like green speed, maybe greens today ran 11 feet, two inches. Um, we got 1.5 quarts off of them and they were 14% moisture, and I can push save. So now this hole is saved. So as you're out mowing and collecting data, pull this up on your phone, select the profile, push this in, and then uh, push finish. Um, and so now there is the data that we just collected from today. Um, then to add data for the next hole, you can just come in, continue the existing entry for today. We'll skip the management data because we just added it. And now we can come in and say, okay, the, the fourth hole was only rolling 10 feet, six inches. And on that goal, we got two quarts of clippings and it was at 16% moisture. And we can push finish or save, we'll just push finish. And now those data are being reflected there. If we then measured again, maybe we decided to roll, we could come in, we'll start a new entry, our greens test data again, add management data, we can enter this in again if we want, but um, we'll just kind of skip this because it's we already entered it once, but maybe this is now, it's still within an hour of mowing, but now it's immediately after we rolled. And again, we can say, um, there's no clippings with the second one, but we have a new green speed. So now the green speeds were a little faster. They were 11 feet, 10 inches and 11 feet, four inches and push finish. And so now all of those are being reflected. If I go down to clip green speed, I can see after we mowed, it was, it was 10 feet, 10 inches. And then after we rolled, it was 11 feet, eight inches. So the whole idea here with performance tracker is make it really, really simple to quickly add performance data right from the homepage. Things like clipping volume, if you have multiple measurements, it's going to average across all of the holes. So say you measured from three different holes. Um, and maybe it's a tournament and you're mowing, double mowing in the morning and you're mowing in the afternoon. You could enter a clipping volume after your first mow, after your second mow, 
and in it, even in the afternoon, and then get this it will tell you the cumulative level of growth that um, you'd see from that. Um, the other features like green speed, soil moisture, it's going to average across all the entries and all of the holes. It's a little bit different. Seven day average is really what you're trying to manage, especially with growth rate. And then this trend turn here is looking at how are those seven day averages changing over the last week? Are they going up? Are they going down? Or are they generally unchanged? And so that's giving some perspective as to what that um, is telling you. The, the next step with this tile is like with growth management is to have a little graph icon right here. And when you push that icon, it will show you the last several weeks of uh, performance data so that you can also visualize how are things changing over time. So we hope that this feature is helpful. Um, if there's any feedback that you can give for us to make it better, we would encourage that. Help at greenkeeperapp.com. If you're curious about tracking clipping volume, green speed, or other performance metrics this year to better improve the efficiency of your management, please do um, by signing up for Greenkeeper at greenkeeperapp.com and trying uh, to set up your course. Um, and, and you have a seven day free trial with free access to, to everything.